the devastating impact of shack fires frequents our news headlines. This widespread destruction negatively impacts communities, resulting in the loss of personal belongings, properties, and even worse, the loss of lives. The Department of Environmental Affairs, in partnership with the Stellenbosch Municipality, working on fire, and an NGO, Design for Change, collaborated on a fire simulation conducted on the 19th of February at the Lankadoc Sports Field in Stellenbosch. The aim of the simulation was to assess a design of low-cost structures in conjunction with a fire-retarding mixture of timber boarding to see if it could dramatically reduce the spread of fires in informal settlements. The Minister of Environmental Affairs, Edna Molewa, praised efforts to fireproof informal settlements through the innovative use of alien invasive biomass while the pressures for more formal housing were being addressed. Fires, as you know in particular, have caused untold miseries for the most vulnerable of our people. And the victims of fire in informal settlements often lose everything, little that they have, their possessions, important documents, sometimes IDs and so on, you know what, how much, how important an ID is. And at times, even tragic, tragically mostly, they are lives. The fire simulation will mimic a structural fire and measure the ability of the fire shutters and fire boarding to reduce the spread of wind-driven structural fires. Nine fuel-loaded structures were constructed, six traditional structures will be non-fireboarded and three green cluster structures will be lined internally with a variety of fire mitigating interventions. In addition, industrial fans will generate wind speeds of 30 km per hour to help aid the spread of fire. Fire shutter windows will be installed two per structure in green cluster structures 1, 3 and 8. Angled hinges, offset against the wall, are held open by a synthetic cord. The synthetic cord melts from the radiant heat of the fire. The fire shutters will fall, closing into the latches, stopping the spread of fire through windows, thus containing the fire. Magna board, which is magnesium-based fire boarding, will be lining the inside of structure 1. Magna board is commercially imported material and SABS approved as fire-resistant material. Composite fireboarding is a combination of cement slurry and timber chips from invasive alien vegetation, lining the inside of green cluster prototype 3 and 8, and is similar to that currently being prototyped by the Department of Environmental Affairs Eco Furniture Program. Key objectives of the test 1. To determine the ability of the model fire shutters to mitigate fire spread. 2. To determine the ability of the composite fireboarding made of timber slurry to mitigate the spread of fire. 3. To measure the spread of fire compared to that of conventional structures. Demonstration Front row structures 1, 2 and 3 fires ignited simultaneously. Structure 1 lined with magma board, structure 2 no fire retarding intervention and structure 3 green cluster prototype consisting of eco furniture fireboarding composite with fire retarding paint. Smoke coming out of Green Cluster Prototype 3's windows. Fire shutters are now closed in Green Cluster Prototype 3. Smoke is no longer escaping because the shutters are closed. Thus, smoke and fire are contained. Structure 2 engulfed in flames and fire steadily progressing. Structures 4 and 5 ignited by fire spreading from Structure 2. Structures 4 and 5, no fire retarding interventions, fire progressing. Back row ignited, structures 6, 7 and 9, no fire retarding interventions affected by progressing fire spread. Green cluster prototype 8 with eco furniture composite remains unaffected by fire. Structures 6, 7 and 9 engulfed in flames. Structure 1 with magma board and green cluster prototype structure 3 with fire retarding board, fire remains contained and structures still standing. Structure 2 with no fire retarding intervention, buckling as fire intensifies. Structures with no fire retardants engulfed in large flames. Structure 2 completely collapsed and smoldering. Back row structures with no fire retardants, buckling under the severity of the fire. Test structures 1, 3 and 8 still standing, unaffected. Structure 1 with magma board and green cluster prototype structure 3 with eco furniture fireboarding composite, fire remains contained. 
Structure 5 collapses against front of green cluster prototype Structure 8. Structures 4, 6, 7 and 9 completely collapsed and smoldering. Fire retardant structures 1, 3 and 8 still standing. Structures 1 and 3, fires remain contained after ignition. Structure 8 affected by direct flames from Structure 5 which ignited untreated window frames and door of green cluster prototype of Structure 8. All three test structures 1, 3 and 8 remain standing. Working on fire helicopters and 802 fixed-wing bomber, water bombs next to the structures to demonstrate how aircraft can be effectively used to contain the spread of fires in informal settlements during daylight. Inspections Fire shutters closed automatically on test structures 1, 3 and 8. Structure 1 with the magma board and green cluster prototype structure 3 with eco furniture composite boarding contained fires. Green cluster prototype structure 8 remained standing but impacts of direct flames on wooden window frames and wooden door was evident. However, fire damage inside was limited. After the demonstrations, fire services attended to mopping up of the test site. Stellenbosch Municipality's acting fire chief shared his views and observations of the test. Well, the testing of the shacks was a great surprise to us. We see that the, the boarding on the inside of the building helped immensely with retarding the fire spread and assisting with maintaining the integrity of the building. If you look behind me, a few of the shacks that were standing here earlier are gone during our salvage operations, but the ones that are standing are obviously the, the ones that were used with the, with the boards that were inside the building and they, and they protected them from spreading the fire or even gaining fire from the outside from radiation or direct flame. Conrad Sidejo, mayor of Stellenbosch, was proud to be a part of this test and his vision is to make Stellenbosch the innovative capital of South Africa. Millions of people living in informal settlements and we in Stellenbosch have our fair share of people living in informal settlements and I think we need to find means and ways of countering the conditions under which they live, one of which is uh, countering the uh, shack fires that we experience. Minister Mulewa emphasized the importance of education, fire prevention activities and the success of the test. This program has since its inception uh, been working with uh, marginalized communities around the fire awareness and education as well as prevention of a fire and its suppression. Is whether a specially designed structure using invasive biomass could withstand the runaway fire. Yes, we have seen it on the last uh, row. It's still standing here intact. I think we need to celebrate this great success. It does mean that in an informal settlement, if we construct such uh, structures, they will not catch fire and therefore saving the lives and possessions of our people who live in those shacks. Shane Christian, General Manager Western Cape, shared his observations of the Green Cluster prototype fire test. Our objective was clearly achieved where we said that we want to limit fire spread for informal houses and that, yeah, that was achieved. I'm very proud, ladies and gentlemen, to say that today we have an experience that works. Thank you to all those who made this test a success.